Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Green Lions. In today's episode we take on Blackstones and Green Witch Borough as we hopefully we continue a really really good start to the season. Take a look at some of the results since the last episode. Alright, the next game we beat Shoreham 3-0. Frank Rosenwald continuing his good form and honestly he has been absolutely unstoppable. After that, another 3-0 win here. Frank getting two more goals, as you can see, and Ben Watson making it 3-0 in the 77th minute. Comfortable victory there against London Tigers. After that, it was a 5-2 demolition over Phoenix Sports. Um, Frank getting himself a hat-trick, as you can see here. Three goals to his name. Got a hat-trick within the first 17 minutes of the game. Josh Steele continuing his strong start to the season, and Carl Smith also getting himself on the score sheet. After that was another 5-2 win, this time against um, fellow promotion rivals Lewis. As you can see, um, once again, Frank is on the score sheet, this time for a penalty. Robbie Legg actually chipped in with a couple of goals, a couple of rare goals for him. Craig Young came off the bench, got himself a goal, and Josh Dill made it 2-2. Two two. And then most recently, it was a 1-0 win over White Leaf. As you can see, Carl Smith getting a goal in the 28th minute. We largely dominated this game. As you can see, six shots on target to their none, 11 shots as well. Pretty good performance all the way around. And a man of match performance from new, new uh, centre-half signing, Josh Reed. So currently, this is how the league looks. As you can see, we are top of the table. Uh, five wins in six, um, 16 points total. Goal difference through the roof, obviously, because we're winning games and winning games really comfortably. So a really, really strong start to the season. Uh, in particular, though, this guy is a very, very big part of that. Uh, Frank Rosenwald got himself 10 goals now in six games. He is practically unstoppable. Frank the Tank is certainly lighting up the, uh, the Bostick League. All right, so here we go up against Blackstones in the first qualifying round of the FA Cup. Obviously, a nice cup run would be good for the bank balance, even though we are doing pretty strong in that department. We're about 140-odd thousand in the black right now. Um, but obviously, a solid cup run could see us, like, literally basically get the kind of income we need to last an entire season. So I'm taking this competition pretty seriously, but I also am keeping in mind some of the players at this level aren't the fittest in the world, obviously being somewhat professional, the match fitness and the overall fatigue is going to be much, much greater. So a slightly rotated squad for today's game. This is how we're going to line up first and foremost. Callum Stanton returns in goal after a brief knock. He missed the last game. Uh, Jacob Feliz comes in uh, alongside uh, Le Provost and Leslie Smith at the back. So you've got basically a brand new back line for today's game. And then we have uh, Liam Mann coming in at right wing back. Jamal Roberts comes back into the side. He took a brief break in the last game. Uh, Seb Skillen makes a start today, as well as Tom Delamar in midfield. Ben Watson, Rank Rosenwald, and Carl Smith will lead the line. All right, so here we go. Playing at home against Blackstone. Should be a comfortable victory. Blackstone's actually playing in the division below, I believe. And uh, yeah, this should be a pretty comfortable victory. We're playing really well right now. The tactic is really clicking. The boys are just playing, I mean, superbly. I really, really couldn't have asked for a better start. Obviously, I'm very excited how things have gone for me thus far. And I'm just hoping it will continue uh, today. So here's an early chance uh, just two minutes into the game. Uh, let's see who's going to fall to. Uh, here's Feliz. He got himself a couple of uh, assists so far this season. There's mine. That's a great through. Rolls and World. Was there any doubt that Frank was going to get on the score sheet today? Frank the Tank does it once again. Lymph's going to have goal of the season for him. Only took him two minutes to get a goal in this game. Uh, lovely ball forward from Mon. Found the run of Frank, who run beyond the defenders, pretty much unmarked and a comfortable finish there for the former Exeter man. Alright, second second highlight of the game. Poor throw in there. There's Delamar to Smith. Back to Delamar. Plays it away to Feliz. Finds mine again. Let's see if he can pick someone out again. That's a wonderful cross. There's Smith at the back post. Should be two. Should be two. Great cross there for Marne. Actually playing really well today. He's not really naturally right wing back. I'm obviously retraining him in the role to help us out there as the season goes on. There's not many right wing backs we can afford. Not a track. So he's going to have to get retrained there. But he's doing pretty good today. All right. 30 minutes on the clock. Let's see what happens here. Lock hits it long. Marn heads it as far as Skillen. Skillen boots the ball long. Far as Smith. Now Rosenwald. It's all three in the box there. We can find him. Goes to the far post to Ben Watson instead. And Ben Watson makes it 2-0. Looks like this game is looking pretty dead in the water, to be honest with you. Uh, the team are playing with such confidence right now. That's, uh, I, I think we're going to hold on to this one. Here's Roberts now. Dalamar. It's a skill in the box. Sips it away cheaply. And here's a chance maybe for Blackstone to hit us on the break and get a goal back straight away. That's a weak effort from distance there. All right, here's Mahn again. Throws it away, though. Ball goes long. 
Good tackle there from Skillen on the recovery. Ball goes long again. Watson dispossessed the man in the box. And good save. Terrible finish, though, from Big Ben Watson. All right, Stanton now plays it out to Leslie Smith. Here's Roberts. Rosenwald the flick on. And Watson now is going to get to the byline. Puts the ball in the box. Look at Smith. Can't find him. Poor cross in the end. That's Smith for the cross to Marne on the back post. Liam Marn makes it 3-0 just before halftime here. And uh, Liam Marn is having a really, really good game at right wing back. He's obviously going to be challenging Danny Hearn for that right wing back role. Especially if he keeps playing like this, he's going to get a look in. That was a wonderful first time volley as well. Good cross from Carl Smith at the back post. Not quite sure that's who he was aiming at, but uh, we'll, go with, we'll go with yeah. We'll go with yeah. He meant to pick him out. All right, here's Stanton now. Lays it off to Leslie Smith. Back to Roberts. Roberts to Smith again. Good ball. Look, uh, Smith's already got two assists of the game. He's looking for his hat-trick of assists. Now, here's a chance now for Higgins. Through on goal for Blackstones. And he scores 3-1 just before halftime. Disappointed to concede right before the break. Kind of gives Blackstones a little bit of a lifeline here. Obviously, a little bit of confidence. We don't concede many goals, actually. So that was a bit of a, a rarity. A bit of a rare mistake, as it were. All right, halftime here, 3-1 up. I'm not going to make too many changes. I will, um, obviously, the game plays 3-1. I'll take some of the guys off that are a little bit tighter and then the others. Um, but overall, good good performance. Very, very solid. Creating chances. Um, probably should be a couple more goals up than we actually are. But uh, we'll take 3-1. All right, here's Le Provost. Hits it long. Fai Smith, great first-time cross. Ben Watson at the far post. Makes it 4-1. Patrick of assist there for Carl Smith, who's been a really important player for the team this season, creating a number of opportunities and getting himself on the score sheet a few times as well. Not as much as Frank the Tank, but still contribution. I think he has four goals to his name, and that's obviously three assists today as well. Ben Watson there, good head up the far post as well. Not got many opportunities to start, but he's definitely taken it today. Done very well for himself. That's a terrible touch. There's Burns now in the box. He's got all the time in the world. Lays it off the Bates, and that's Higgins. He is offside, surely. He has to be offside. Yeah, it's not going to count. If Higgins let that go, though, that ball was going in. And it would have been 4-2. All right, here's Dallin Marr from the corner. Whips it in. Burns with the clearance. Only fire was skilling. Back to Dallin Marr. Back to Leslie Smith. There's Smith in the box. He gets a goal for himself. Carl Smith makes it 5-1. I would say that's game, set, match. And on to the next round of the FA Cup. All right, a couple of changes. Uh, put on Craig Young and put on Steele as well, just to see out the game. We've got 20 minutes left to go, though. Still want to make another change. That's a wonderful effort, too, from Higgins. Unlucky there. Um, you can definitely say Stanton where he was beat. Uh, scrambling across his goal. Here's Roberts now from the cross. Puts the ball in. Steal with a header. All right, going to make a change as well. I'm going to bring on Danny Hunt and play left wing back. He's not left wing back at all, but I wanted to give Roberts a bit of a break because we need him for the next game. The next one definitely is a tougher. Uh, we're up against Greenwich, obviously. We're currently third in the table, so a win against the uh, promotion rival. At this stage of the season. It will be pretty awesome. Alright. 83 minutes on the clock. Here's a chance now to make it 5-2. That's a good finish there for Maneki. Poor defending really. Not quite sure who that was. Somewhere. I think that might have been Hunt there. Got caught out of position there. And it made it pretty easy. Yeah. Hunt just fell asleep. Lave Maneki through on goal. That was a good finish in the end. But poor defending there from Danny Hunt. Not really his position though. He's not used to playing left wing back to be fair. All right, here's Skillen now. I was going to put on the box. Maybe a last chance to make it 6-2. But this will be our third 5-2 victory of the season. Um, early going, I know. But honestly, I'm, I'm pretty confident this, these boys can take us up to the next level. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty good display. I'm looking forward to seeing who we get in the next round. All right, so after that victory there, we got a nice little bonus there, £3,000. Take a look at the finances. As you can see, 150000 I'm actually doing pretty good. We're losing money on a monthly basis, so this, um, this little cup run will definitely help out with that. Uh, let's see who we're going to play, though, in the next round. All right, so here we go in the FA Cup second qualifying round. Let's see who we get. See if we get one of the big boys, perhaps, because the uh, I think the Vanarama joined this time. Yeah, the North and South, they join in this round. So let's see if we get one of the big boys. We're playing South Shields. Now, they've got a really, really good following. I know they had a... Um, a lot of support one time. I'm not sure when, but I did read about it. And they've got uh, Julio Arca, of course, former uh, Sunderland player. Total up £5.3 million signings placed for South Shields. They've got a few players, actually. Uh, Paul Wollstone, he's not a bad goalkeeper on loan from Newcastle. Graham Fenton, the former striker. Uh, he is their manager. He's doing pretty well, too. The top of their table, respectively. And they only lost one game. So this is going to be a very tough match away from home. But, uh, yeah, we'll do our best. 
and uh, see if we can get to the next round. All right, see we up in Greenwich, brother. I'll play away from home. Hopefully, we'll be on time. Get it? Because it's a Greenwich mean time. Joking, never mind. Um, I'm not going to try to be funny anymore. So, um, anyway, this is the team we're going with. As you can see, uh, a couple of small changes to the side that beat uh, Blackstones last time out. Josh Reed, Owen Jones come back into the side. Danny Hunt comes back in the right wing back. Josh Steele comes in midfield. And Robbie Legg will uh, lead the line. So even though despite Ben Watson getting himself a couple goals, we've got to go back to Robbie Legg. He is slightly the better player. And not to mention, Smith and Legg have formed a little bit of a partnership up top. So um, I'm looking to try and exploit that relationship as best we can. So today's episode says game will be pretty tough. Um... Yeah, they've, they've got some really nice players. Uh, Ali Fasani, uh, who is a pretty experienced uh, midfielder at this level, very talented player, had a very solid start to the season, not spectacular. Um, also, Anthony Wright, a very, very talented left wing back. Um, USA player, used to play for, yeah, Nottingham Forest. Yeah, that was correct. So, yeah, I've actually signed him a couple of times on a personal save. He looks, he's pretty solid. Um, the star player, apparently, though, is Chidu McKenzie. He's got himself seven goals in six games. So, it's going to be pretty... It's going to be a pretty tough game. It's going to be a pretty tough game today. And playing away from home, if we can get ourselves a draw in this one, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, otherwise, I'd like to keep momentum. I'd like to win a game. But obviously, this is a bit tougher than the opposition we've been playing lately. All right. First chance of the half. Here's leg. Back to Hunt. Decent ball. Fitzsimmons makes a clearance. Paul makes it to Hunt as far as Delamar. There's Steele. Finds Hunt again. Another chance for Hunt. That's a decent looking ball. And there's Smith at the back post. Get in there, 1-0 to Kyle Smith. He's continued his excellent start to the season. That's his eighth goal. And believe it or not, he's got eight assists. He's got seven assists as well. That's an absolutely incredible start to the season for Kyle Smith. Obviously, the focus has been on Frank the Tank. He's got himself 11 goals in just a short start to the season. But Kyle Smith as well, um, living up to the expectation that I set for him at the beginning of the season. He's having a really good one. And uh, good to be 1-0 up. Here's McKenzie now running out of back line. And that was a... Speaking of effort, to say the very least. Um, here's Stanton, though. Plays out to Leslie Smith. Trying to control the game as best we possibly can. A steal. Good ball. Back to uh, Roberts. Roberts plays it long. He's fine. Smith there. Smith, he's brought down. Is it in the box? It is in the box. Now, Frank the Tank will take it. Now, he has missed the penalty this season, but he's also scored two of them. So, let's see what happens here. Steps up with his left peg, and that's an easy penalty. Good penalty there for Frank the Tank. And it is 2-0 to the Green Lions. I got some bad news though. First bad news of this episode. Uh, Robbie Legs picked up a knock. Um, so bring on Ben Watson instead. Ben Watson had a really good run out last time. So I'm confident he can come in and uh, take Robbie Legs' place. No problem at all. All right. Here's Hunt. Back to Watson. Watson holds on to the ball. Looks to switch the play to uh, Smith and he finds him. There's Roberts now. Through ball looking for Carl Smith. And he's brought down again in the box. Is that another penalty? Yes, it is. Chance to make it 3 0. Here we go, Frank. Frank. Frank, come on, boy. Finish it. Come on. Come on, Frankie. And 3-0 up away from home against Greenwich Borough. It has been a remarkable first half here in Greenwich. And uh, so far, as results stand, we can only go six points clear of Lewis behind us, although they do have a game in hand over us. But still, very, very promising sign of things to come in this season. And here's another chance, though, just before halftime. We conceded just before halftime last time out. It'd be disappointing to do it again. Here's Fasuni, Fasani, whatever you pronounce his name. Back to Pritchard. That's Ali Fasani. Back to Pritchard again. Here's King Elliot, my liege. Look on the overlap. Lays it back. That's a good ball in the box. That's a wonderful finish there from Hudson. So we conceded again just before halftime. Not really. I hope that's not a growing trend. Because obviously conceding late goals is not what's I want to see from the boys. We are 3 0 up though, so I can't be too disappointed. 3 1 up, so I should say. So, pretty good half. Very good half. Uh, disappointing concede. That's about it. And here's King Elliot now. Throws it in. Finds Corn, who got the assist on the uh, Greenwich goal. There's Fasani. Back to Corn. Looking for McKenzie now. Oh, that's a penalty, isn't it? Oh, a terrible, terrible penalty giveaway. McKenzie wasn't going anywhere. I don't know why he gave it. Oh, that's a great save from Stanton. That's a great save there from Chris. First penalty save of the season for him there. And honestly, that that would have been a big, big moment if we got back to 3-2. Uh, here's Jones now. Jones hits it long. He finds Watson now. Through on goal. Watson to Rosenwald. Chance for your hat-trick. And he smashes against the post. 
He did the right thing, put it back across the goalkeeper, back to where it came from, put the goalkeeper off balance, but unfortunately hit the uh, upright. And uh, that was a glorious chance to kill the game. Here's Delamar looking for Watson. Watson has it down to Frank, and uh, Fitzsimmons makes the challenge. It's easily cleared. All right, let's make a change in here. I'm going to take off Danny Hunt. I'm going to bring on Lee Mann. Had a really good game last time out. Just to freshen some legs up. And so five minutes ago in this game, it looks like it's going to be a comfortable 3-1 victory for us. Uh, unless something dramatic happens here at the end of the game. As we know from the last episode, um, we can throw a game away. Um, it's only happened once and it happened on camera, so it wouldn't surprise me if it happens again. Um, that's a long ball. Hudson's now through on goal and he blasted over the bar. Good opportunity there from Hudson. Could have made it 3-2 and could have made the last couple of minutes interesting. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's an end 3 one here. Time is up. Just waiting for the referee here to blow the full-time whistle. Mahn hits it long. There's a chance for Rosenwald for his hat-trick. Never mind, he wants offside. So yeah, that'll probably wrap it up there. 3-1 victory. Very, very satisfying victory indeed, especially against a uh, promotion rivals like Greenwich. And um, definitely, uh, honestly, it's a kind of a hallmark victory. This one, the lowest one. Definitely, definitely hallmark victories. Um, and as you can see right now, we can't comfortably sit top of the table, six points clear, and also a good, healthy 14 plus on the goal difference as well. So things are definitely, definitely going well for the uh, green lines here at the start. Um, talk about the next episode real quick. Look at all that green. Isn't that beautiful? That is a sight to behold, all that green there. But anyway, let's talk about the next episode real quick. We'll do uh, usual five or six games in between. We'll do... Ashton United and Cray Wanderers in the next episode. Two tough games at home. Uh, so third and fifth place respectively. Um, but um, thanks so much for watching the episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, what do you think of the start of the season? Uh, what do you think of some of the signings? You guys have a favorite signing so far. Um, what do you guys think of the tactic? Working really well for me so far. No complaints about that. If you want to take a look, this is the team instructions. As you can see, look for overlap, play out defense. Slide a slightly higher line, play nice and wide. Um, I got kind of one player instruction so far, and that's my goalkeeper. Uh, just distribute it to the center half, so Leslie Smith and Reed. I like to try and stretch play nice and early. Um, but anyway, that's the tactic. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the series. So far, it's going really well. Um, hopefully, those uh, good times will continue definitely in the very next episode but uh thanks so much for watching everyone hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next part goodbye everyone goodbye